check out what we've got to have a play with. So on uh, the local Facebook little page thing, I popped this today for sale. Um, owner claimed it hadn't run for four or five years. It was on a log splitter. Uh, run on a hydraulic pump, like so. It's one of the better ones with a bearing in the back of it by the looks of things. And it's a little split in the side of the old fuel tank. Now, he reckoned it would fire, but he hasn't had it going for years. It's just sat in the back of the shed and he's having a clean up to get rid of everything. Um, one of the switches in the back there. Well, that's a bit strange, it's got an oil symbol on and on and off. Anyway. Um, nice easy choke to get to. Awesome throttle setup. I really like the throttle setup on it. Big air filter, decent sized muffler. Uh, give it a couple of pulls, got it to pop a few times, cleaned the spark plug off and burnt the rubbish off it and it puffs and chuffs and kind of tries to go. And each time it tries to go, it puffs a fair bit of uh, smoke and unburnt crap back out of the carby. So pretty sure she needs at least some valves Either clearance is done or um, lapping in or whatever as a dude of a tidy up. So uh, that'll have to be done. But uh, yeah, it, it tries to go. So that's a big win. I'm thinking this plus either the um, cash engineering or that air compressor will make an awesome setup for a uh, sandblasting rig, portable one. We can put on a uh, trailer and tow around so uh, only a bit of an introduction to this one today uh, it is the industrial version the Briggs and Stratton so it's made for serious work it's actually in pretty neat and all right condition consider it would have been out in the weather a lot just dirty from sitting in the shed like things get and uh, yeah thanks for watching you'll uh, see a rebuild of this when we uh, finally move house we'll set her up in the workshop and uh, Give it a bit of a rebuild. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.